good morning from Austin, Texas. So you guys, I haven't got ready for the day yet, but hi, my name is Charlie. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. I'm a Dallas-based flight attendant and I'm here in Austin, Texas on a layover. I'm about to work a flight to Cincinnati, Ohio. If you hear Walking Dead in the background, I'm sorry. I have about 30 minutes before I have to be downstairs for the van. That'll give me a little time to be early, but I'm trying to hurry up and get ready. Um, this video is picking up pretty much exactly where the last one left off. It's just the next morning. So hi, thanks for clicking on this video. Make sure you watch that one too, because the journey getting here was a little crazy with all my canceled flights and everything. But I'm about to put on my makeup, do my hair a little and get dressed. And then we're gonna be off to Cincinnati, Ohio. Okay, I decided to go for a break. I think it looks cuter. Like I said, watching The Walking Dead, sorry about that. So I decided the braid, like a little messy braid, is actually cuter. So I'm gonna go with this. Here's my hair. Don't know what this random piece is doing. I guess I'll curl it and try to put it back in the braid somehow. I need to hurry up and get downstairs because it's 11.47 and the band time is 12. Okay, I'm ready. Let's go. I will never, ever, 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 ever be your side chick. I put the same in single. Ain't worried about a ring. Okay, the room's packed up. And I'm actually ready to go this time. Okay, you guys, I am in Cincinnati, Ohio. And if you watched my last video, you know I was just here yesterday. But <laughs> we're at the short stay hotel because we only, we don't have that long to lay over because we're leaving pretty early in the morning. So we're at a different hotel, nowhere near as nice. But I'm gonna give y'all a little tour. I'm gonna try to get a little unready. And then I'm, and then I'm gonna let y'all know about that flight because Oh, baby. <laughs> Holy cow. It was awful. Okay, so I already checked the room for bugs and thugs. We're good. And here, we just have iron board and everything, which I need to iron tonight because I've been wearing this shirt for way too many days in a row now. Then we look over here, and this is the room. We're going to pop into the bathroom first. Da da da. Nothing too fancy, but. As long as I can get clean, that's really all that matters. And I have one bed in this one. Big old window, I'll show you the view in a minute. And desk with a Keurig, TV, which I seem to never watch. And mini fridge, no microwave. In a view of nothing really gas station over here and a rally that I'm probably gonna eat at tonight I might end up going to the hotel I heard the rallies is disgusting here I also heard that there's a Guthrie's around here I really like Guthrie's so I might get that instead of going to rallies I love rallies slash checkers they have the best fries ever but like I heard a lot of really bad reviews about this one so i don't want to like ruin my rallies experience because i'm one of those people if i try something from one place one time and it's bad it kind of just like kills it for me so i'm about to take this big coat off and everything and then i'll tell y'all about that flight okay so that flight as soon as the first chime goes off the first chime is my indication okay it's time to get up prepare my galley because we're about to do this service we're gonna bust it out fast we're gonna bust it out quick and we're not gonna have to do much later is what I thought. I mean, as soon as that first chime goes off, we hit turbulence and it was just like, not just like we start shaking a little, it was just like, shoo, it dropped like instantly and then started shaking and it was like rickety. It was just awful. Like, like everyone's heads, it's, it's not funny, but like, you know, when you're watching the passengers, especially if you're FA1, I was FA2, but like you can see their heads like swaying sometimes and like light turbulence. No, it was just like everyone's head, boom. Like it just went 
oh my gosh it was so scary and it was like shaking everything i don't know i'm smiling so much now i don't know anyways um very terrifying so that went on for about like 20 minutes of pretty pretty bad turbulence and then like i was like okay about to get up oh no he called us and he was like yeah sorry about that um we didn't know it was coming <laughs> or we would have warned y'all and we're like okay it's fine we're good no one's hurt everybody was sitting down already because the um the chime had just went off so nobody had time to stand up oh and then we're doing our service and everything about halfway through the service we started shaking a little bit more i was like okay well i'm halfway done with the service i don't want to have to put the card up or have to finish later it's not that bad he didn't tell me to sit down yet i can finish the service so i was doing the service and i'm doing the water for somebody and like i go to pour it and then it goes dump and like of course I dumped the water because I was literally pouring it when we did that same like really really sharp jerking motion. I apologize to the person. <laughs> Luckily nobody was sitting in that other seat so like the water didn't get on anybody. And I was like let me get you some more water and then he was like hey he was on the PA sorry we're already we're through the turbulence now that was just like going another one time thing pretty much. Um, so I was like okay cool I can finish the service. I finished my service that was the only problem. And then I start putting up my galley cart and then we get to shaking again. Oh, you guys, this weather going over the snow and all the other stuff that we have going on right now with like, like the East Coast is really, really bad right now. Um, that's why all of my flights for today were canceled. I was supposed to be in Raleigh. I was supposed to be Washington DC. I was supposed to be doing all like East Coast flying. And I'm still pretty much on the East Coast. I mean, I'm in Ohio. It's not necessarily a coast but i was supposed to be like towards the southeast but like they're getting a lot of snow right now <sighs> so there's this one point where <laughs> it was after we had finished our service i actually did like a second modified service just because the flight was, was decently long it, was, it wasn't as bad as it was yesterday but yeah we're doing like i had already did like a tray table service with water after i did my initial service it was good i'd put everything up and i was sitting on the back row because we're allowed to sit on the back row in our seat belts um pretty much like where the passengers would sit if it was a full plane but it wasn't so i was chilling in the back row we had like the last three rows um free so i was just chilling back there pretty much by myself and we hit turbulence again <laughs> And it's awful. And for some reason, I felt like I wasn't safe unless I was in my jump seat. So <laughs> I struggled to stand up and I'm like shaking and I'm trying to get back to my galley and everything's already secure. So I'm just trying to get to my seat. Y'all, it took me forever to get to the seat. And I mean, as soon as I was like almost about to sit down, I was trying to sit down and I physically couldn't because like however the plane was moving, like the force was literally locking my legs up like i was trying to squat but i couldn't and then we hit another like air pocket and then it goes and my whole body crashes into that chair so hard and like while i'm sitting down or trying to and i'm just basically hovering my butt over the seat for like it felt like forever trying to get the the force to sit down um i see the fa1 try to go sit down too and then um, the pilot calls and he says, hey, are y'all sitting down? <laughs> and I can hear her say, like, I just picked it up to listen in because she's FA1 and she's doing all the talking. And she's like, yeah, we are now. <laughs> He's like, okay, good. <laughs> and then he hung up. I was like, okay, he needs to concentrate. <laughs> so we're just, we just had off and on a really bad turbulence. It was no light turbulence at all. It was just really bad or a smooth flight. And you guys, it was scary. <laughs> And I, I'm not saying I like turbulence, that's a weird thing to say, but like, I don't mind turbulence. Sometimes I think it's funny. I don't know. That's weird. But um, yeah. But yeah, fun stuff. We didn't die, obviously. Turbulence, just, just speed bumps in the air. No big deal. It was just a lot out of nowhere. If he would have told me, we're going to have bad turbulence, sit down the whole flight, then that would have made sense. It was just that we did our meeting before the flight they didn't say anything about it they're like yeah it should be a good flight it should be a lot should be shorter than the one we did yesterday when we we're going to cincinnati no big deal okay <laughs> and then boom all that happened so yeah very fun day <laughs> lots of scary turbulence um there was no point where i thought that we were going i can't even say that i don't know i'm just really dramatic though like it's not really i've never been in the moment where i thought we are about to die because 
know. I just started thinking about, hmm, that'd be crazy if they couldn't get this under control. <laughs> but anyways, that's all. It was just some scary turbulence, but we made it out fine. No one got hurt. Um, yeah, so I'm just sitting here at the hotel. Like I said, we're in a different hotel. So I was gonna go to the National Sign Museum, but now we're at this hotel that's so close to the airport that nothing's around here. And the Uber to take me there would cost way too much money. So I'm just gonna chill here. I might go down to the restaurant here at the hotel and get dinner, or I might run over to Guthrie's because I really do like Guthrie's. So I might see if the van, um, if the hotel shuttle will take me over there to get some Guthrie's. And yeah, I'm actually doing a video right now about how much I spend in a week and it's starting to slowly add up. I actually spend a lot, I think I spend less when I'm working compared to when I'm home at the crash pad because when I'm at the crash pad or I'm, if I'm at airport standby, I'm spending money on Ubers everywhere. But if I'm stuck here, I'm just stuck here. <laughs> so I can't, I don't have time to go spend money on lunch and like Uber Eats and all that stuff. I could Uber Eats did Guthrie's, but I think it's pretty close. He says it's walkable, it's just not safe. And I don't know if he meant like not safe, like there's gonna be some shadiness going on or is it just not safe because I have to go like a major highway, I'm not sure. <laughs> but I'm gonna get some food, I'll show y'all that. I'm gonna shower, I'm gonna eat. And yeah, we're going, I don't even know where I'm flying to tomorrow, but it's gonna have to be in a new video because they put another flight on my sequence so I have a 21 hour layover in Kansas City, Missouri. So that'll be his own vlog. Thank y'all so much for watching. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye. I just took a DNA test. Turns out I'm 100%. Damn, even when I'm crying crazy. Yeah, I got boy.